Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to my brand new series, How to Farm Grand Company Seals in Final Fantasy XIV. Now there are so many ways to grind out Grand Company Seals, I figured I'd make a series about it. So in Endwalker, they added the ability to get weapon coffers from any extreme or any trial that drops weapons, or gear for that matter. And we are going to be taking advantage of that system. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to farm Grand Company Seals with the Arum Reborn Extreme Trials. The original three, Gerudo, Ifrit, and Titan drop accessories, but Ramu, Shiva, and Leviathan drop weapon coffers. We're going to be taking advantage of a free Gerudo and Titan because there is a repeatable quest called Primal Focus, which we end up getting three tokens that we can get three pieces of gear to turn in for Grand Company Seals. Now you're going to have to have a couple of things unlocked before we do this. Number one, a gladiator or paladin unlocked. You can do that either by starting the game as a gladiator or unlocking gladiator at level 10 after completing the level 10 class quest that you started the game in. Number two, you're going to have to do at least up to 2.4 because you need to do the hard mode versions of these primals first to unlock the extremes. Number two, or three in this case, have a high level job or a blue mage at level 70. Blue mage is the easiest way to do this and the fastest. You are going to have to do a reoccurring problem with Minfilia and the Waking Sands to do the hard mode of Gerudo, Titan, and Freet. Then you talk to Orion J to do the extremes for everybody. After you do the Gerudo, Titan, and Ifrit extremes, you'll be given the Primal Focus quest to do. Once you have done all three of those extremes, you'll get three tokens of Arena. This is going to be Mordona at X22.8, Y7.2. Then you come over here to Alina after you've done those Primals, and then you take your tokens and buy the Onion Shield, Ancient Buckler, put one of these in your Chocobo Saddle, and then get the, uh, the third one. Now if you're going to be doing this as a Blue Mage, you're going to require some spells. Tingle, Moon Flu, Whistle, Final Sting, Shock Strike, Glass Dance, Off Guard, J Kick, Basic Instinct, and Ethereal Mimicry. And you want to get a DPS, because with a DPS Mimicry, you have an increased chance of critting or direct hitting your target. If you don't want to do Blue Mage, then you're going to have to go through the phases of the extremes, if you can kill them fast enough. Alright, so I'm going to show you guys how to one-shot everybody up to Leviathan, then I'll show you guys how to deal with Ramu and Shiva. So first off, Garuda, Titan, and Ifrit. So we are beginning Super Echo, which is going to give us 200% increased damage, healing, and maximum HP. So you want to do Basic Instinct, increases your damage, Whistle, Moon Flute, Swift Cast, J Kick, and then Final Sting. And there you go. That's how you kill Garuda, Titan, and Ifrit. Except for Ifrit, you don't want to J Kick because he'll jump and then you'll take a little bit longer to kill. So go ahead and grab your loot. So you can get their personal item, their accessory, and a mount if lucky. And music. So there is another reason to farm these primals. So you're going to do the same thing to Titan, except we're just going to run up to him. And there you go. Titan, down. Next is going to be Ifrit. So with Ifrit, we can J-Kick this time, since he won't jump. There 
go. Those are the original three. So we just got his bangle for him. So now that those are done, we can now grab the primal focus. So go up to Laura here, grab your tokens. Run over here. Go to her token exchange. Come down here, grab a buckler. Grab a shield. I already have an shield in my chocobo saddle. So we're gonna put the buckler in there and then get another buckler. All right, so now those are done. Let's go into Leviathan. You don't want to do Jade Kick on this one because he will go underneath. He's weak enough to where we can just run up to him. All right, so basic instinct. Whistle, Moon Flute, Pre-Use, Final Swift Cast, and Final Sting. And there's Leviathan down. So he will have a weapon coffer. He gave us a weapon, a weapon coffer, and the mount, which I already have. Now this is where it's going to get tricky, because Ramu and Shiva need to be drained a bit before we can final sting them. So with Ramu, I got my DPS Mimicry, because we want to hit him as hard as we possibly can. So we activate Basic Instinct. Whistle. Off Guard. Moon Flute. Tingle, Shock Strike, J Kick, Glass Dance, Swift, and then Final Sting. And that would be Romu. So hopefully you don't crit too hard and you end up turning him inv invincible. So he gives us weapons and an accessory with a coffer. All right, next is going to be Shiva, and she's going to be a little bit harder because she's a little bit stronger. So we're going to be utilizing a Ravana's Super Naka special ability. All right, so this might take a little bit of practice, but we can get it down easy. So, basic instinct. Whistle, Moon Flute, hit her with Off Guard, Shock Strike, Tingle, J Kick, Class Dance. One, two Super Nakas, and then final thing. And there you go. Once you see her adds, and you get her down to around 70 something percent around there, you want to be very careful, otherwise you'll end up putting her in vulnerability. So she gave us a weapon, a bracelet, and a weapon coffer. Alright, so now let's head over to my grand company. All right, so here we are at my grand company. So switch to gladiator or paladin. And then you want to use the coffers on that job because we're going to get a shield and sword every time we use a weapon coffer. This will give us double the loot. If you're lucky enough to get this through the dropping, then that'll be even better. All right, so that basically is going to be all the loot for now. Don't forget that we do have some bucklers in our Chocobo saddle. So with the Seal Sweetener 2 free company buff up, we're going to be getting a 10% bonus. You're also going to need expert deliveries unlocked, which I believe is going to be at rank... Let me check. I believe Sergeant Second Class. All right, so Shiva gives us 690, which gives us 759 with a buff. 
The weapon, 633. 697 with the buff. Ramu, 633. 697. And the weapons give us 633 with the buff. 575 without it. Leviathan's 547 with the buff, 602. The Onion Shield, 518, 570 with the buff, same thing with the buckler, and same thing with the accessories. So let me go grab my other two. And 570 each. So look at all the Grand Company seals that we just got, and it took us what? A minute or two to do all those? This is insane. This is like almost like 10,000 Grand Company seals in a minute. All because of the weapon coffer system. Now you can add King Mogulmog Extreme in there, but he only drops an accessory, so we're not going to get much out of that. But it's an extra Grand Company turn in. So guys, with the weapon coffer system, it is completely broken. Anything that has weapon coffers or gear coffers dropping can easily be done unsynced. So you can do this as a blue mage, which is the fastest way, or you can do it as a battle job and take a little bit longer. But that depends on you. Any job can do this, so take your pick. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this useful. Any comments, questions, and or concerns. Please leave them in the comment section down below. I'd be more than happy to help you guys out with any questions you might have. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. As a reminder, I do have a Discord server if you guys want to join. Just hit the world icon on my YouTube banner. And I also have YouTube memberships available for anybody who wants to help make this a full-time career for me. Both are completely optional. So until next time, may you forever walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And always remember to keep forging ahead.